Insight into an execution you'll only see on 10 Tampa Bay tonight. Two days ago, deputies told us this man was murdered because another member of a biker gang believed he was a police informant. Just three hours ago, 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Solcido spoke to the victim's former wife. And tonight, she shares her fight for justice. It doesn't even seem real. It doesn't. Like a scene out of a movie. You walk in the front door and there was glass broken. And if you look directly through it, it's where the chair was, where his body is found. Nicole Paternoster and her daughter saw what was left at her ex-husband's house after he was killed. I sat in the chair with the bullet holes in it, where his head would have been for about an hour and cried my eyes out. And this is coming from somebody who hated his guts in the end. <laughs> The two shared three kids together and had been separated for over five years. They met when they were teenagers in Utica, New York. He had a great sense of humor. He was quite intelligent and witty. But she says things changed when he got addicted to drugs. Nicole says Dominic had mentioned wanting to be a part of a biker gang towards the end of their relationship. He would talk about it but it was more like a fairy tale. Once they separated, she says Dominic started hanging out with the Mongols and people who were gang affiliated. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office says that's what got him killed. 48-year-old Paul Mogilevsky was arrested and charged with Dominic's first degree murder. Deputies say he's a Mongol. They were buddies. That's all that I hear. And that they were both trying to get into the Mongols together. Despite her bad feelings towards her former husband, now she and her kids are fighting for justice. I like to see all of them executed. Whoever was involved. An eye for an eye. Life imprisonment would not be enough. Now, so far, one man has been arrested in connection to Dominic's death, but Sheriff Bob Gualtieri says they are not stopping there. He's confident more gang members were involved and more arrests will be made. Reporting in Pinellas County, Angelina Salcido, 10 Tampa Bay.